here's a clip from our podcast that's coming out tomorrow, part two in our stigma series. Listen to this doctor say, patients with opioid use disorder should have access to medications such as Suboxone without being forced to do any other type of treatment. Everyone deserves counseling. I, I think it's wonderful. It's a hard place to live in the human brain, and it's difficult to sort out things, particularly um, on day-to-day -day level, and you throw in substances and it just gets all the much harder. That being said, we don't require other things for people with any other medical condition. It'd be great if people with diabetes would, um, you know, be in seeing a dietitian regularly. We wouldn't withhold medication from them if they didn't. Um, I would like all diabetics to have access to a, a dietitian. That would be great, but I wouldn't not give them insulin if they didn't choose to do that. Medic I don't think life problems are frequently solved with medication alone, but give them options about whether or not they want to be involved in other things. Yeah. So once again, spot on. He doesn't know any other place in healthcare, though, that this is accepted. And I'm going to show you how it is accepted in chronic pain patient treatments. I'm going to play some clips from Dr. Daniel Claw. He's actually out of the University of Michigan, where this is uh, webinar is out of. I'm going to play a few clips to show how this is the other part in healthcare, where it's okay to punish patients and to coerce them into doing what you want in order for them to get a few opioids. It's really important for the physician that on every visit to say, you know, have you been look, going to the website? Have you been doing your self-management techniques? How, how are you doing with your exercise? The more the physician reinforces that the patient has to play an active role in their illness and, and is really tough with the patients if they don't, if they don't start moving around and become more active, if they don't um, go, at least go to the website and try some of the techniques in the website. I, I won't, I certainly won't do this in the first or the second visit, by the, but by the fourth or the fifth visit, if I have patients that still haven't gone to the website, still haven't tried to start an exercise program, I'm pretty tough with them. And I just say, you know, that I'm not sure that you're really trying hard to get better. And I am not really willing to sit here and listen to you complain to me if you're not going to do anything that you need to do to get better. That's jarring for people make the patient play an active role in their illness. And we, you know, we talk about managing conditions and managing illnesses. I, I really think that chronic pain is something we have to manage more so than almost any other illness. Because if you don't manage these patients, they'll manage you. Do you still think SUD patients are the only patients treated this way? 